Marcus Conti reporting. Interesting twist in the Tessa Majors murder mystery in the park. Three young teenagers mug a girl and kill her. Why was she in the park? We once thought that we were once told that she was out on a run. She was running in the park. But it turns out a little something different was going on. Pow. A little marijuana purchase. A little a little weed in the park purchase. I know. Once, once upon a time, this would have been a bad thing. We would have frowned on it. Oh, look, the pot user out in the park with the criminals. But the reality is, if the story is true, which the New York Post is reporting, let's have a look. If it's true, this story now takes on a new twist because it, it supports the idea of what? Legalizing marijuana. Why? Why? Because you're not out in the park with a bunch of hoodlums, right? Because it's the old setup. That's how, they, that's how they rip you off, right? It's, what happens is sometimes if, I guess in the old days when I bought pot in the park, you know, 30 years ago, I, I haven't smoked, you know, I haven't used weed in years, you know, 25 years. But what you used to do is you would go to the spot where the drug dealers were standing and you would, you know, they, you'd say, hey, you got anything? And, and they would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you give them your $20 bill and you get whatever you want. You get, you, you get your, your item. But a lot of times when the drug dealers aren't there, the muggers step in, right? So the muggers are sitting in the spot where the drug dealers usually sit. And you say, oh, you got anything? And they go, uh, yeah. And they reach in their pocket and they wait for you to pull out your $20 bill or they, they sh- you know, for you to go for your money to pay. And they just wait, and then three of them jump on you. Right? So that's probably what it was. It was probably set up. But legalize, right? Legalize. Tessa Majors was looking to buy weed before her murder, police union president's claim. Look, people want what they want. It's what, what, what difference would this be if she was going to the liquor store to buy a six-pack or buy a bottle of wine? In my mind, nothing. There's, there is no difference, right? I would suggest don't do either, right? Or buy a pack of cigarettes, right? It's all, it's all detrimental to your health, but some people want it. And certainly when I was 18 years old, I was definitely somewhere buying pot uh, when I was in a band as well. So I, I, you can't frown on that, right? This is not a frown. This is just to clarify the details to find out what the hell went on. So Bernard College freshman Tessa Majors was allegedly in Morningside Park to buy marijuana when she was fatally stabbed by a group of teenage robbers. The head of the NYPD Sergeant's Union claimed Sunday. So it's NYPD claiming it. How do they know? I don't know. Maybe they asked some, you know, asked some of her friends what was she doing in the park. And they told her, eh, she's probably buying weed, right? So, so what? So what? What I, what I am understanding is that Majors was in the park to buy marijuana. Sergeant's Benevolent Association, Ed Mullins, told radio host John Katsimadastata, or Katz, Katsimadaba, that guy, that guy fucking John, John Katz, on AM 97 uh, show, the Katz Roundtable. Here we have a student murdered by a 13-year-old. We have a common denominator, marijuana said Mullins, referring to the 18-year-old Majors uh, and one of her uh, alleged killers, 13-year-old uh, Zaire, Zaire Davis, whom neighbors have said smokes weed. Police sources confirmed to the Post that they are investigating the claim that Majors was in the park to score weed, a detail that came from a college friend of the victim. Aha. So that, that does make sense. That does start to make sense. A pal claimed to the detective that the 18-year-old Virginia native and musician said she was heading to the upper Manhattan park to buy pot Wednesday evening, according to sources. Major was later, Majors was later found dead, fatally stabbed. Uh, so this reiterates Davis was arrested. It also says, it also says more about the, um, the other two suspects. Davis was arrested Thursday and allegedly told detectives... He and two middle school buddies robbed her before one of the boys killed her, uh, knifed her to death, sources said. It wasn't clear what sparked the fatal knife or whether knifing or whether the boy boys were involved in any drug deal that went down or one that was supposed to go down. 
Despite uh, purportedly admitting a role in the mugging, Davis was denied plunging the knife into Majors. So another 14-year-old boy was arrested but ultimately released Saturday as authorities worked to bolster their case. Don't pay attention to much of that because the police could really, they can't find the third kid. So they'll release the second, say, hey, see, I got away with it. And they'll flush out the third kid. That that could be part of it. They could already have the kid. Very common to put out misinformation to when there's, when, certainly when there's a criminal at large. So don't, don't count on the kid, not the second kid that was released, not being charged with murder. They know exactly where he is, right? He's not going to slip out of. He's not going to slip out of sight. So, um, so there you have it. Weed in the park. Let's talk about. It. So, so if weed was legal, right? If marijuana, uh, a commodity that grows for for pennies, is easy to grow as tomatoes. If everybody could, you can grow it in your windowsill. Grow it on your window. Grow it in your backyard. Throw a couple of good seeds out in the yard, and and come September, October in New York, you. You do a little harvest and you have weed all year, right? You could sell your residual and make a little money for yourself if you're not if not everyone wants to grow. But the point is that is that if marijuana were legal, really legal, not just pharmaceutically legal and legal for doctors to prescribe to you, or or um, for you know for Philip Morris to you know sell to you, but genuinely legal where anybody can grow. And, and, and consume and sell and trade just like any other commodity, like tomatoes or peaches or, or sugar. Right? If it was truly legal, this murder wouldn't have happened. Right? It wouldn't have happened because you wouldn't have, two, you wouldn't have three thugs sitting in the park pretending to be drug dealers, ready to, you know, ready to whack the first young girl who comes up. Now, is it still, is it racism? Yeah, it, it, it is it still is, right? It's why does why the the muggers are still targeting young, naive college kids at an elite college, at an Ivy League school. Let's not forget that. Columbia University is an Ivy League school that borders a ghetto. Ha- Harlem on one side, Washington Heights on the other. And down below, it's actually the Upper West Side, but it's surrounded on two sides by by uh, projects and low income housing and and uh, ghetto. Right? If you go up onto the top, it's 125th Street. That's the pit of Harlem. Right? So so young kids, young black teenagers, junior high school levels, are sitting preying on younger, naive, mostly white kids who are looking to purchase pot from the first black person they see. So the story still holds up, holds up in, in that respect. So uh, just new facts in the, um, in the murder mystery. I don't see it as a problem. I don't frown on this whatsoever. I think that it, it sheds light on the fact that marijuana should have been legal a long, long time ago. Marcus Conte reporting.